back to work on this, I left my iPad at home. Of course, it's not an iPad, it's an LG pad. But I left it home, and so I'm just going to do this out of my own mind. Sorry about the squeaky chair, but there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I took the uh, head off of the uh, female figure that I've got uh, in the background occasionally. Um, it's magnetic uh, attachment, so it doesn't hurt to take off the uh, head and look, work from it. And as you can see, it shows the muscles really nicely, and it also shows the shape and form of the face, which uh, really helps. And uh, different characteristics that uh, you find in a female. So, I'm going to get to work here. just want to take this opportunity to let you know I have uh, instructional DVDs on uh, sculpting, and it, I give you the advantage of my, well, since 1965 I've been sculpting, so I give you the advantage of all that uh, time learning how to sculpt because I pretty much taught myself and uh, I just had to come up with ways of doing things that uh, would make them uh, well make things a lot easier in the long run so go to the uh, description below this video and you will find a link there to my blog and on that blog are, for now, uh, eight DVDs that are available, and I give you a description of each one. Giving her more of a feminine <coughs> a forehead by bringing out the forehead just a little bit further than a male would have. It'd be a little smoother, uh, not quite as angular as a man. It'd be more feminine.
great great grandfather came out west in the 1840s and uh, settled the Salt Lake Valley. with Brigham Young and uh, if you don't know who Brigham Young is just do a Google search I'm not going to uh, go into that here but uh, it was amazing I was reading his uh, journals and uh, which my family has possession of and when you read them, you realize that these people were uh, city folk, most of them. Had no experience in the West. They learned as they went along. They were just like you or I thrust into something like that. My uh, great-great-grandfather was uh, a wagon wheelwright. He built uh, a lot of the wagons. Uh, Pioneers came out west in, and when he got to Utah, he actually had to go back east several times to guide people out to the uh, valley of, of the Salt Lake. Really proud of him. My grandfather remembered my great-great-grandfather because uh, he was alive when my grandfather was uh, a little kid and uh, kind of gives you pause when you think about that that I'm always separated by two people from my great-great-grandfather and my great-great-grandmother was a uh, on my mother uh, my grandmother's side was a Native American and she was from Canada Northeastern Canada I don't know which tribe but one of the tribes in the Northeast side of the family. That was on my dad's side of the family. My mother's side of the family, they came from uh, New from England uh, on the Mayflower. And uh, actually when I was a kid we used to go to uh, Plymouth Rock to uh, eat uh, Thanksgiving dinner at a local restaurant there and uh, then after we got done eating in the restaurant we'd go out and uh, look for my for our ancestors uh, in the graveyard at the old church there in Plymouth Rock really gives you pause when you think about it that your ancestors were the beginning of this country which my Native American friends always give me a bad time about <laughs>
remember my grandma putting her hair up in a bun like this. It was long, beautiful hair. It was gray, but it was beautiful. But every morning she'd put her hair up in a bun. I'm trying to show with this young lady is that she's worked hard all day and uh, you know behind a team of oxen walking along with them herding them with a covered wagon a big Conestoga wagon yeah I picture her as a young lady who was used to the finer things in life back east fine china harpsichord piano or something like that to play on at night and she gave it all up to follow her man out west At some point, her man may have died from sickness or exposure to elements or snake bite. So many things were against them, and yet she survived. Survived. And she survived. And she grew not only in strength, but in the will to survive. Remember, if you like this video and my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel and then follow my videos so that you, can, you won't miss any of them. I do a lot of them. If you go to my channel, you'll see that I've got well over. my DVDs.